And the next day I saw that one side I had clocked pores whereas on the other side I had no clocked pores, no pimples, nothing. Now that made me think that the niacinamide that I used on one side was a little more effective than the other side. Hello to all the wonderful humans. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome. I am Aboli and I make science-based skincare and hair care videos. If you are interested in that space, then consider subscribing to my channel. This video is a comparison video between 10% Via Naturals Niacinamide Serum and 10% Minimalist Niacinamide Serum. Hello, so I started using Bare Naturals on one side and Minimalist on the other side. I have done this half an hour for at least a month and this is the video where I'm going to tell you what the results are. And as you can see, I'm applying the Bare Natural one on my left side and enjoying it. And the one thing that I've noticed with this is the white foamy thing. But that is not because of leftover face wash, it is because of the formulation. Then on the right side we have the niacinamide serum which I have discussed about so many times and there it is. Now let's start with the comparison. The first is the most important right and that is the price. We look at the price and then decide if we want to buy this product or not. So let's start with the Via Naturals. The Via Natural one costs $6.95 for 30 ml and the Minimalist costs $5.95 for 30 ml. You can see that in the price point this one uh, loses one point and this one gains one point. Let's come to the packaging. I would say I like the Via Naturals packaging a little more than the minimalist one and the reason is that uh, it comes in a pump. Uh, using a pump is a bit simpler than using a, a dropper because you know sometimes the other uh, like the serum sometimes it comes out from the top and everything gets messy but that does not happen with the pump packaging. So I uh, like the pump packaging a bit more so this one gets one point. Now let's come to the texture. First let's see the VI Naturals one. Ooh, very watery. Now let's come to the minimalist one. This is as you can see a bit thicker. You see the difference in the viscosity. This one went down less resistance. This is a much thicker. Now if you put this on your skin, it is I'd say uh, hydrating. However, the Bare Natural one mattifies your skin. So uh, dry skin types be very very careful with this one because you see now it feels like it is hydrating your skin but it gets absorbed in your skin very very quickly for dry skin types you need to appropriately moisturize afterwards this is a niacinamide uh, from the minimalist i have spoken about this product in the dermaco versus niacinamide product uh, comparison video and you can see this is a much more uh, nourishing uh, serum than the Via Natural one. The Via Natural is a bit mattifying and this is a bit more nourishing. So for normal and for dry skin types I would uh, recommend the minimalist one and for oily combination skin types I would recommend the Via Natural ones. So when it comes to texture uh, I will give equal points to both of the products because um, it depends on your skin type what you want. The Van Natural one has one and a half year as the expiry period and this has 11 months of the expiry period. So if you're a person who likes to use uh, their skincare products for a really long time like I am, what I do is I just use it 80 or 90 percent of the product leave it and then come back to it afterwards so if you are that kind of a person then I would say the Via Natural one will obviously last you longer okay as you can see the Via Natural one is leading by one point so let's talk about the next one and that is the first impressions and how I felt when I first time saw the product and used it when it uh, comes to the uh, niacinamide one uh, I really like the product because it is odorless it is almost colorless it's it's a bit uh, cloudy as you can see it's not transparent it are 
yeah you can see it's not transparent it has a bit of a cloudy uh, color but it does not smell like anything it um, you know feels like a treatment product which i like when it comes to the via natural one it actually smells like it has essential oils in it so that is what shocked me when i first saw the product however this does not have essential oils i have also confirmed with the via naturals uh, team and it has rosemary extract and not rosemary essential oil to a very different i will talk about it when i come to the ingredient list so um that is one thing that uh, i didn't like about the product is the smell so uh, when it comes to the first impressions i would say i liked the niacinamide one a little better now let's talk about how it fared on my skin and this is i think again uh, one of the most important things to know how it actually works on the skin right so uh, i did use this uh, half and half on my face for 14 days as i've said and I must say both of them do a pretty good job but there was this one day which was like deciding for me and I was actually uh, you know trying on a sunscreen for the review purposes and I went out wearing that sunscreen and it was greasy as hell okay and it's not even that hot here in Bombay I don't know what would happen in summers and it did not work for my skin at all in fact I thought that 100% I'm going to get a pimple after I go home because I have oily skin uh, and I have greasy sunscreen on top of it and I was worried and the next day I saw that one side I had clogged pores whereas on the other side I had no clogged pores no pimples nothing now that made me think that the niacinamide that i used on one side was a little more effective than the other side because uh i mean both of my uh, cheeks are pretty reactive i had used sunscreen on both sides it was getting oily and greasy on both sides of my face the only thing different was the two different serums and this was a bit shocking for me but the via natural side it was this side actually was better i did not see any clogged pores and nothing whereas on the side of the minimalist 10% uh, niacinamide i had seen a lot of clogged pores right here so that it was a deciding factor for me that this one when it comes to uh, preventing or controlling your oil production and uh, acne clogged pores the van natural one works better for my skin than the minimalist one which was shocking because the minimalist one i have been using for quite a while now and it has worked for my skin but in these conditions where i 100% get a pimple or two uh it didn't I didn't get a pimple on the Vea Natural side. Uh, so when it comes to how it fare on my acne prone skin, the Vea Natural wins this round hands down. Now let's discuss about the ingredient and the comparison between the ingredients because we know that this is one thing that actually can uh, help you to understand which product you need to buy and which product you need to avoid. So let's go and see. Let's start with the ingredient breakdown, guys. So the base of minimalist 10% niacinamide is aloe vera juice, and for Via Naturals, it's purified water. So if you are allergic to aloe vera juice, you can always choose Via Naturals. The actives in both the cases is niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, and in both the cases, it is the second ingredient, meaning that there is almost 70 to 80 percent of the base in the product. Then the other actives are in minimalist it's zinc PCA and Via Naturals it is the rosemary leaf extract. That the zinc actually helps to reduce the proliferation of bacteria, so it actually prevents in the uh, acne formation. Then for the Via Naturals one, uh, rosemary leaf extract is also antimicrobial in nature, which also does a similar. action as zinc pca then let's come to the humectants in the minimalist we have aloe vera propendiol and ethoxy diglycol whereas in the niacinamide we again have aloe vera propendiol glycerin and sodium hyaluronate all of these humectants are very good in nature and do a good job of hydration so 
it's great then we have viscosity controlling agents and in both of them you can see that xanthan gum is um, a common uh, agent and other agents of minimalist are very common in the products we have discussed about it uh, various times in various minimalist videos nothing great about these ingredients um, but they just control how thick you want the product then we have delivery agents so delivery agents actually carry the actives into your skin in via naturals ingredient list i did not find any ingredient which is just a delivery agent now understand that everything else also acts as delivery agents like the base or the humectants they also carry the actives into your skin so just because there isn't a dedicated agent doesn't mean that it does not work on your skin uh, then we have preservatives then we have preservatives phenoxyethanol and ethyl hexyl glycerin are two common preservatives that are seen in minimalist products and we have these two in this product as well when it comes to the via natural one i am not quite sure apart from the levulinic acid uh, i didn't find any uh, you know artificial preservatives in it now the sodium levulinate is actually a chelating agent meaning it reduces um, the interaction with the metal ions which also helps to increase the longevity of the product but does not work on the microbial action rosemary extract does have antimicrobial properties so that also can increase the life fan of the product when it comes to fragrance both of them do not have artificial fragrance however the rosemary extract does add fragrance natural fragrance to via natural serum so that's it with these two products the uh, comparison is done and as you can see the via naturals has won this round of comparison which i was not expecting to be very honest but it did that's it i think i have covered everything that i can on these two products so if you have any more questions please put it down in the comment section i will definitely answer them if you have any more recommendations for any videos that i should make then put it down too that's it until next time bye